Working on some new intro music. Isn't that cool, man? It's a cool riff, man. I'm going to love that shit. I love you. I love you. I love you. I do love you. So, Marcus Conti reporting a little update on the uh, Tessa Majors uh, murder in the park story. There's a couple of developments uh, in that. But first, if you are watching this channel on Marcus Conti, this channel is soon to be archived and no longer uh, no longer available for new videos. It will simply be an archived channel because I'm moving all of my action over to Marcus Conti News. And you can click, click on the link down below and subscribe there. If you're watching this and you're already there, well, then good for you. Kindly help me spread the message so that we can monetize this channel and get it over a simple thousand subscribers. It's not that difficult. I, we're almost there. We're about 750. So this is very important. It's very important because what I've noticed already is that if I put uh, my videos on Marcus Conti News, it gets two, three, five thousand views. But on Marcus Conti, my main channel, it gets a couple hundred. Uh, so that's called shadow banning. That's what YouTube has been doing for the longest time because they're trying to, they're trying to shut down the truth and promote fake news. Fox, CNN, MSNBC. So fight back and help. You don't have to give money. Nobody's asking for money. You could pay PayPal and Patreon if you want to become a Patreon. That's great. But more importantly at this point, kindly, uh, kindly uh, uh, help spread the message by sharing the videos, saying, hey, this guy's pretty cool. Would you kindly subscribe? That kind of stuff. Just help out, man. Just get on the fucking grab an oar. Grab an oar and start rowing. So let's look at this, uh, let's look at this uh, train wreck. Um, in the in the latest uh, latest developments of Tess Moore's uh, suspected killer, 14 bolts from the car, sparking Harlem manhunt. Very interesting. So they got the 14 year old. They had the other kid, right? They got this three of them, right? One of them confessed that he was there. He saw feathers fly out of the girl's coat when the other kid sliced her, right? He they got him. He's 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 a done deal. Right? They got a confession. Now the other kid that they riled up was either very quiet or they had the wrong kid. Right? And the, 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 the last one is the actual stabber. They believe they, they know who the actual stabber is, and they finally got him. Uh, so, uh, but we'll talk about that, but also the uh, family's outrage over the allegation that she was some, some junkie, some pothead scrounging around in the park looking for weed. Right? There's that backlash because, hey, yeah, look, the, the detective's agency in New York did state that they had evidence that uh, she was in the park uh, trying to buy some pot. Uh, it's no shame in it. I'm just, I mean, it should be legal, right? Pot should be legal. If it wasn't, if it were legal, she could have walked down to the candy store and bought herself, a, you know, a little bag of pot and smoke your brains out. Who cares, right? Fall down, get high. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about that anymore. But no, you got to go out into the park, risk your life. The people selling it, that, uh, you know, they, they, they turn to murder and they turn to uh, crime and drug dealing and all that shit. The cartels keep throwing the shit over the fence. You got to legalize, legalize. That's all decriminalize, legalize, make it totally legal. So Tessa Majors is suspect to kill a Bolts, right? So 14 year old kid. The 14-year-old suspected killer of Bernard College freshman Tessa Majors jumps out of a car while on his way to meet cops on Monday, sparking a manhunt in Harlem. Cops fanned out across 125th Street with a particular focus uh, between Frederick Douglass and Adam Clayton Powell Boulevards uh, to look for the alleged teenage uh, killer, sources said. That's, that's uh, very much, that's very close, in fact, um, by the Grant uh, housing projects that I had talked about and showed you a map of. on It's just above 125th Street. Uh, Frederick Douglass and Adam Clayton Powell is right in the middle of Manhattan. It's, it's on the other side of the park. It's not on the side of the park where, where, um, Tessa Major, where Columbia University is. Actually, the park ends at about 100 and, you know, before 125th Street. But it's on the other, the, the, the Columbia University is on the, uh, uh, west side of Manhattan, whereas we're talking about where this kid lives and where they're hunting him down is in the middle. The middle schooler uh, and an adult were headed uh, to meet with cops on Monday when the kid bolted out of the car, high-ranking source said. So the kid said, fuck this, I'm out of here. I'm not doing this shit. I'm not turning myself in. I'm not turning myself in. Let him catch me. Let him shoot me down. The adult notified authorities who took to the area to track the teen. The teen faced fugitive 
um, faced fugitive is among three suspects cops have identified in the fatal stabbing of majors. So again, the cops are playing a game. They don't know where the kid is. One leads to the other. They're trying to get the whole confession on, on board, get the kid to talk to the parents and hold the parents responsible. What did the kid say? What did he do? Right? That's what they're doing. Right? They, you, nobody saw it. They obviously don't have a, an actual video of the stabbing, so they're trying, to, they're trying to build the case. That's what they do. Relax. They got the guys. They know, they know the kids who did it. That's how the NYPD works. Right? It's missing, you, you send out misinformation into the community so that people start to talk or they get relaxed and they start to move around. Hey, fuck you, I got away with that shit, man. I got away with that shit. I stabbed the bitch in the fucking neck, man. Stabbed the bitch. Right? Stabbed the bitch. Right? That's what they do. Right? And they go around and they brag about the murder. Right? So, One suspect, 13-year-old Zaire Davis, was arrested last week and charged in the family court with a felony murder. He admitted to his part in the stabbing. The third suspect, 14-year-old, was arrested Friday and released. All right, so that's just, again, misinformation. Don't worry about it. The suspect currently on on the run is believed to be the one who wielded the knife, er, sources said. So they're they're in hot pursuit. So... What's this other stuff? This is noisy. Listen to this. Are you doing? Listen to this guy's accent. Are you doing? Eighteen-year-old college, a college student at one of the most prestigious universities in the country is murdered in a park, and what I'm murdered in the park. I'm understanding that she was in the park to buy marijuana. And you think about that, we don't enforce marijuana laws anymore. We're we're basically hands off on the enforcement of marijuana. So here we have a student murdered by a 13 year old and we have a common denominator of marijuana. You know, my question to the people in New York City is why is this happening? Yeah, why is it happening? Why is it happening? And why are you even talking about it? If it's hands off, if it's a hands-off issue and the, the police don't prosecute marijuana sell, selling, buying and selling and smoking and using, then why are you talking about it? Why are you bringing it up as an issue, blaming the girl for doing something illegal? If, it, if there's no crime committed, why are you even talking about it? Because like, you're trying to smear her. Right? You're trying to smear the girl and say, oh, oh look, see, see the innocent, the poor black children, poor black children have to go out to the park and sell marijuana to make a living, to make money so that they can eat and feed their families. Right? And, the, and the rich white girl from the elite school is there, is, is there aiding and abetting the crime. That's what you're trying to paint. That's the picture you're trying to paint. Now, is the family right in standing up and, and pushing back on that? Yeah, absolutely. The family of Bernard College freshman Tessa Majors on Monday slammed the head of NYPD's Sergeant's Benevolent Association for claiming she was buying weed when she was murdered in Morningstar Park last week, Morningside Park last week. The remarks by Sergeant Benevolence Association, Ed Mullins, uh, we find deeply inappropriate as they intentionally and or unintentionally directly blame uh, direct blame on Tess, Tess, a young woman for her own murder, the 18-year-old's family said in a statement. We would like to ask Mullins not to engage in such irresponsible public speculation, just as the NYPD asked our, our family not to comment as, to conduct the, as it conducts its investigation. Right. So here he is. Why is he doing it? You know, why is he, why is he yapping his trap? saying that uh, that the white girl was in the park buying marijuana from the blacks. We don't prosecute, but nonetheless, let's talk about it. Why is he doing it? Fucking smear campaign, right? Because that's the that's again, it's just it's 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 systemic racism. That's what it is. That's what it is. Call it what it is. It's a in in many respects it is a hate crime. It's a hate crime. The, these these kids are in the park and they mug and they stab a girl for something that isn't even a crime. All right, she's probably trying to buy weed. They stand in the weed spot, and when she when when they when she asks them, "Hey, where's the weed guys?" or "You got weed?" they they say, "Yeah, yeah, we got weed." And they take out a knife and they stab her. Uh, that's crazy shit, man. A family is interested in knowing what exactly happened to Tess and who committed uh, her murder. 
We believe for the immediate safety of the community and the surrounding schools, that should be everyone's top priority. And we are grateful to the men and women of the NYPD for their efforts. They are doing a great, uh, a great job. On Sunday, uh, Mullins, the radio host, Kat, uh, John Katz, on the, on the John Katz show, uh, AM 970 show, the Katz Roundtable, that we have a common denominator, marijuana, referring to majors and one of her alleged killers. Right? The kid, Zaire Davis, who said, yeah, he's from the, the uh, locals who said, yeah, he's always hanging around. He's a good kid. He's always hanging around, smoking weed, smoking weed, just a normal kid, smoking weed. He's 13 years old, smoking weed in the park. Uh, is that normal? No, drug use is normal. We're, we're, we're uh, normalizing it. So NYPD union chief de denies victim blaming Tessa Majors. So here's the, now the, so, so the guy, the detective guy said it. The family pushes back on what was said about the girl being in the park. All right? he, he's, he's clearly, his clear implication, he, he's implying that the girl was doing something wrong. The family pushes back, and now the union guy is, is saying, oh, I didn't, that's not what I meant. I didn't mean that. What are you talking about? No, I didn't mean that at all. I said, I, I don't know what I said. Let's, let's, what did he say? An NYPD union chief denied victim blaming Tessa Majors, is when, uh, Majors when he said in an interview that Bernard College freshman was looking to buy weed before being brutally murdered. Ed Mullen, the president of the NYPD Sergeant's Benevolent Association, tried to clear the air in a Monday night letter to his members saying, Mayor de Blasio and other critics have taken, the tw taken and twisted the words. Well, we just heard your words. And it does sound like you were implying that the girl was in the park doing something wrong. So where's the, where's the twist? Ed Mullen, the president of the NYPD, uh, in, in the Sunday morning show... That's what he said. What else did he say? As I thought was clear and obvious, in no way did I intend to suggest on any level that some type of blame towards Tessa Majors was warranted. Well, then shut your fucking hole if that's not what you're trying to do because that's what you said. You brought the, the whole thing up. You put it into the mind stream that the girl was in the park doing something wrong. That is the clear implication. Uh, so... My intent was to illustrate that the city administration continues to deceive its citizens into believing that it is a safe city. Yet the truth is that crime is on the rise and neighbors uh, which used to be safe are no longer safe. Well, say that murder is a crime and burglary and robbery in the park is a crime, but you said in, in your own words that, that the marijuana laws are no longer enforced. So that, therefore, it's not a crime. It's tolerated. It's something that is already tolerated. What's this? Oh, let's look at a slideshow. We got to watch an advertisement first. So here's NYPD. I don't know if I put these pictures on a record, but let's look through it. So here's the, the crime scene. Lots of detectives hanging out. Very important. They got their suits on. It's the middle of the night. I don't know what this is. This is probably, who the fuck knows? Another advertisement. Kids putting up flowers. How sad, right? Searching for evidence. A little uh, candlelight vigil up at Bernard College. Flowers. Cops, cops, cops. Nothing but cops. Another advertisement. Some flowers out in the park. What a sad day, you know? And what a sad day. All you had to do was make pot legal and the kid wouldn't be in the park. The, the burglars wouldn't be in the park. Nobody would be, no, people would be walking in the park with their fucking dogs hanging out. Uh, some more candlelight vigil. Oh, was, that's interesting. There's a panda bear on the ground. You saw that? See the panda. Panda bear. Panda. What does that mean? Uh, this is probably by the entrance of the park. Detectives. Cops. Bernard in tears. It's all over every paper in New York when you pass by. So just to, to reiterate, the woman, this woman in the middle with the red is in fact the aunt of the Zaire, the 13-year-old boy, uh, Shakia, Shakia, Shakia Ka, Shakia, uh, second from right, one, two, Shakia, 
uh, the aunt of the 13-year-old boy who is accused of being involved in the fatal stabbing. So that's the, that's the aunt right there, second from right in the orange. That's the uncle of Zaire Davis, same, same uh, I, I think I showed you that photo already. And there she is. So aunt and uncle, both, what color are they? What color are they? Black. There's the detective, uh, Vincent Sig Signorati. Hey, hey, Vincent Cigarette, how you doing, Vincent? I do, Vincent, detective. I was detective New York, detective in the park. I saw the girl in the park. What else? Candlelight vigil, how sad. Light a candle for the girl, for the girly. Light a candle for the girly, 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 girly. It's like 9-11, man. People putting up the shit on the walls and stuff. Uh, what else? Yeah, it is. It's a tearjerker, man. It's a real tearjerker. So Marcus Conti re reporting, trying to guy, bring you guys up to speed on the latest in the Tessa, Tessa Major's uh, uh, murder. It looks like, you know, it looks like pretty much a done deal. They'll get the three kids. They'll rile, rile them up. The city will try to blame the girl because she was in the park smoking. She was in the park smoking pot. Uh, legalize, man. Come on, man. Come on. Do the right thing, America. Do the right thing, America. Marcus Conti reporting.